Good afternoon, Poke Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 6 video, bringing you a cool Serena weakness policy combination with Talon Flame. Now, I accidentally came across this while playing on ladder, and I lost to it, so that means we have to go ahead and try it out here on the channel. Uh, I did build this team with Alex Got Sauce on Patreon. We did go through it, and we did try to figure out what would be best with this team in the back because obviously we have the Serena with the Tom Flame, but there needs to be more. We did a couple of changes to the Serena set also. Um, originally, we didn't have any um, fighting move on it, and then we got walled by Steel type. So we decided to stick High Jump Kick on it, so that's just one little change that we made together as well. What makes this combination so good is that one, Tom Flame can't get fake out of first turn because of the Queenly Majesty, so your Tailwind will get set up, and two, Peck is a very low damaging move, and Serena will definitely prosper as a Dynamax option. It's so terrifying how much damage Serena does as Dynamax, and if you have Max Airstream along with Tailwind, you're just that much faster, that much stronger, and you do that much more. Like we said before, we have the Talonflame here. We're running the Focus Sash Talonflame with, uh, you know, Brave Bird and stuff. Moving on, we have the Dracovish with Choice Scarf. I don't think I have to explain this one to you guys. This was a was an option because it helps us deal with the fire types that ruin the Serena and because it outspeeds so much in the current metagame and does too much damage. Absolutely too much damage. Urshifu Choice Ban, we've used this so many times here on the channel. It's my go-to Pokemon for Series 6 and it just helps me win so many games. You have Poison Jab obviously to take care of Primarina, Close Combat, Wicked Blow, etc. With the Urshifu. Dark, Duraludon, Duraludon fit the team really well. It wasn't, it's, it's, a, it's a pick that we don't bring too much. But it's here because when we do need it, it helps. It helps with that steel typing, helps with that dragon typing, and it helps just, you know, prospering and, um, you know, with the Assault Vest, this just takes some special hits a lot better, along with the base defense, which is already really high, helps take those hits as well. Then we have Luxray. I've fallen in love with this Pokemon. Intimidate plus Baby with All Eyes is a disgusting combination, and that paired with Snarl and Volt Switch, it has just become one of my favorite Pokemon in the game. I don't think it, I don't know if I would call it an Incineroar like replacement, but I would definitely call it an Arcanine replacement because I've just had so much more success with this Pokemon, in my personal opinion. Anyway, that's the team. I hope you guys are excited for this battle and I hope you guys are excited for some Crown Tundra questions that I'm gonna be having throughout this video because yes, I'm recording this right when Crown Tundra was, I guess, the the announcement was uh, officially revealed. So we know it's coming October 22nd. If you guys are hyped, go ahead and hit the like button down below for the Crown Tundra and let's get on to these battles. First game of the day, gonna be against an Aqua Jet Prim and a Colossal. So we have to probably prepare for that. That's gonna be a little bit of an issue, but... But thankfully we do have ways of preparing for it. I'm curious if my Tailwind Plus, Dracovish Choice Scarf is enough to outspeed a Colossal. I have not calced for this, but that might be my only way of taking it out. Because the rest of my team doesn't really help against that Colossal too much. Maybe Urshifu can help too, but yeah, let's try that out. I know we're not starting with the Serena combination, but maybe we'll get a chance to try it out later on, or even in the battle. But first things first, we have to remove that Colossal from the game. He has no way of sucking up the water. He does have Clefairy, which could be very annoying, but hey, if he brings Clefairy... Then we just deal with the P2 in another way. I think Urshifu definitely comes to this battle since he has so many fighting type weaknesses on his team. And how can we mitigate some damage? I think... I think we bring Serena anyway. Because Serena does deal with the Prim if he does want to bring it. Also deals also does have a fighting type move to deal with all those fighting type weaknesses as well. We'll see how this goes. But anyway, the Crown Tundra question I had for you guys today. What do you think of Galarian Slow King? If you guys don't already know, Galarian Slow King has been revealed. Here he is on your screen. And it does have a signature move called Eerie Spell, which makes it so that it does psychic damage and loses 3 PP uh, from the target. Like, whoever you target loses 3 PP. I think that's pretty interesting. It also has, like, Curious Medicine as an ability. So, apparently, it's a new ability that was introduced. And when a Pokemon enters the field with this ability, so, like, when Galarian Slow King enters the field with this ability, all the ally stat changes are reset. Kind of cool. Anyway, it's battle time. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section below. I'm super curious because I'm trying to see if there's any competitive uh, reasoning behind this or anything that we can use for competitive. Um, good news here is... What did he lead with? I can't actually see. The Fairy Kangaskhan? I think we set up Tailwind and then we hard swap into our Serena here because we have no need for Dracovish. We might as well keep it as healthy as possible. 
And by doing this, we also stop the, the imminent fake out that's coming. There's no other reason you leave with Kangaskhan, Kangaskhan unless you're faking me out, right? Helping hand boosting? Wait, what? Fake out. Okay, cool. That's fine. Queenly Majesty. OP, OP, OP. Now we get to actually try the strat off. And we got a free Tailwind up as well. Like, this is fine, right? Okay. So now we just peck our Serena. Go for the Dynamax Air... I don't think we have to Airstream already in Tailwind. But anyway, let's Dynamax... Overgrowth. We'll set up Grassy Terrain. And get rid of this Fairy. This stupid redirection helping hand boosting Fairy. Kevin no like too much. Also, 4,100 subscribers. What the heck? <laughs> we just got to 4,000. You guys are blowing past these sub counts. You're making us all the happier. And I hope you guys are enjoying the ride here on Pokesports. It really does mean a lot. Also, Mike uploaded yesterday. I needed a day off. Something came up. N n nothing bad. It's just like, you know, something came up. And I wasn't able to record. So, Mike took over yesterday. So, shout out to Mike. If you haven't watched Mike's video, go check it out. It's the one with the mammoth swine. That does more than I want it to. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I, I don't remember it doing that much damage. That that doesn't that doesn't register in here. We just crit ourselves with a peck. Anyway, overgrowth onto the fairy. Should be enough to knock it out at plus two. Nice. Now he has no redirection. We are still sitting in Tailwind. We have the max number for this Kangaskhan at plus two. We get ourselves to plus three. Kangaskhan could probably do some damage. Especially after helping hand boost, but hopefully not too much. Fire, ouch. Okay, not too much. And thankfully no burn either. The Serena is clearly the threat for my opponent on the field. And we are sitting nice and pretty. What does my opponent switch into? He, he, They have yet to Dynamax too. But now with the redirection gone, if he sends in the PZ, which he is, we should be able to just destroy that thing, right? Like what's stopping us from just going for a, a max knuckle on the PC? I think we double in PZ here. Like, PZ is going to Dynamax, I don't want that. I mean, granted, we could also just deal with PZ later on, but we could also deal with Kangaskhan later on. We have the Urshifu in the back, and we just removed the redirection from the game, so... There's nothing stopping Urshifu from one-shotting either one of these Pokemon. PZ is going to protect. It's kind of sad, but we live one more um, Fire Punch anyway. The Flare Blitz is going to go into the PZ, not going to do anything, but now we're going to give ourselves a nice and plus one with the Max Knuckle. It still does about about half. That's still pretty impressive through Protect. Now Talonflame gets an attack raise too. Okay, everything is still on our in our favor here. Body Slam. Normal gem boosted Body Slam? I was not prepared. It still doesn't do anything. No para? No para, folks. No para. Okay, this is great. This is absolutely phenomenal. Um, What do we do here? Honestly, I think a plus one Brave Bird will do a disgusting amount to this Kangaskhan. And I think a Max Knuckle... Actually, we don't need a Max Knuckle. Let's Overgrowth onto this PC here. Overgrowth thing because I think that'll do more damage at plus three in the Grassy Terrain. It has a lot more base power. I'm not super good at Pokemath. I just kind of get a feeling for my, my, my damages. Oh my god. Yeah, this is, this is disgusting. He just doesn't know what to do, doesn't even Dynamax, is just waiting for my Dynamax to end before they do anything. I mean, I guess, he, like, they have no other choice. He will finally KO my Serena here, though. But like I said, I have so many- I have a Dracovish and an Urshifu in the back. Like, my team does not lack damage right now. And all he has is, like, a 40 HP Kangaskhan. I can just set a Tailwind up again next turn, too. I'm gonna send an Urshifu, just because, like I said, he had so many fighting weaknesses on his team. That this should be just kind of straightforward to bring in a fighting type. Sends in his own Urshifu Dark. Another fighting weakness. And also another Town Flame weakness. I got options. I think my first option is going to be a sub Tailwind. And then close combat his Urshifu. If his Urshifu is Focus Sash, so be it. Oh, Sucker Punches fails. <laughs> tailwind. <laughs> The only reason I want a Tailwind is because, one, that Sucker Punch is evident, and I don't want to bank on a Speed Tie here. If I bank on a Speed Tie, then that could just end up costing me the game because I don't have a Focus Sash. But he has a Focus Sash, but thankfully he ended up not doing anything this turn. My only hope is that he decides to attack Urshi- 
thief. My poor choice band. You could have it. Is he locked on the thief now, or does he get, still get to choose one more move? Oh, who knows? Well, anyway, um, Peck. <laughs> Gotta use Peck competitively, man. Peck in close combat should close out this game here. Sucker Punch again. We'll go on to the Town Flame. We do still live, though. Get this mighty Peck off. Taking out the Urshifu. <laughs> If you guys are thinking I'm BMing, that's my best option because I don't take recoil damage. Followed by close combat onto the Kangaskhan. I think we definitely did take advantage of our opponent's team preview here. I don't... They also didn't die to Max, so... I think they kind of gave up. But anyway, um... Serena. Renzel code at the end, folks. Alright, this team is kind of straightforward. The Charizard is kind of... Kind of an odd Pokemon in this in that slot just because it's, like, it, it's a Charizard sitting outside of Sun. And I don't think there's another Sunsetter that I see, so I don't know what that Charizard's doing there. But anyway, I'm going to try to ignore it. It does maybe just complete a Grass Water Fire Core that my opponent was going for. Anyway, his team is super scary. And I don't exactly know what the lead is going to be, but I do feel like the Dragazult is coming somewhat. And if it is coming, my Serena's going to have a little bit of a problem with it, because I, I can't really hit it with Serena. But maybe... Maybe what I could do is, let's do this. Let's bring Serena and Talonflame. We'll lead with it anyway, just because, you know, I think it's still our best option against this team. Like our biggest problem would be the Charizard, but we, we could deal with that when we get there. I do think the Dragovish is really nice here. Do I though? I know the Urshifu is. Urshifu is really nice because it does have the Poison Jab for the... Primarina also does have, you know, Wicked Blow for the Dusclops. I could also lead with it as well, but whatever. And what do we do in the back? I I'm feeling Luxray. I think I am feeling Luxray because it does have a lot of physical attackers on its team. If I swap in the Luxray, that could be really nice. Yeah, I like that. Let's do Luxray. Oh, did I lock in on time? Oh, I hope I did. <laughs> we'll see by our leads. Oh, actually, no, we won't. We'll see by what we have in the back. If we see the Luxray, then we know we locked it on time. If we didn't, we're in a world of pain. Because <laughs> we really want a Luxray here with that uh, Dragazult as the imminent threat. Also, just a nice switch into electric moves if we have to have to go that route. Okay, it brings out his Amoongus and his Charizard. So, the one Pokemon I didn't expect to see, we're seeing first turn. Which is interesting. It's different. Uh, let's see, did I lock in? No, I didn't. Oh, boy. Um... I mean, maybe, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't lock in. Let's go Dragovish as the switch in since, like, the fire move is kind of obvious. I think, honestly, setting up a Tailwind is worth. Yeah, let's have a Tailwind. Let's set a Tailwind. I really don't want to find out what Charizard wants to do, right? And I know Serena definitely doesn't want to find out what Charizard wants to do. And Serena technically has, like, no way of hitting these mons unless I go for, like, max airstreams, but... I don't think it'll be worth taking that much fire damage turn one, especially if he's just going to Rage Powder this turn one as well, and I'm going to have to waste a turn not hitting the Charizard. At least if I bring in Dragovish, I'm able to resist fire four times, and he swaps out the Amoongus. Okay, that's even better for me, because I was really concerned about how I was going to be able to hit the Charizard. Now I can hit the Charizard. Um, ugh. He's going to max, she's going to max guard with Charizard next turn. That's one of the few issues. Is it G-Max? It is G-Max. Okay, so it's just a G-Max Charizard outside of Sun. The good thing is, we know this Drake Exalt isn't Dynamaxing. Which is really nice. The bad thing is, Drake Exalt does not like, uh... I mean, Drake Vish does not like a Drake Exalt staring at it. Followed by Max Airstream. Thankfully, we got the Tailwind up. Well, that's awful. That's really bad. I guess Charizard doesn't need Sun. <laughs> I guess Sun is just an option for Charizard. Anyway, we bring in Urshifu. And I don't know what we do at that point, but I guess we have to double into the Zard here. With Wicked Blow and with 
Brave Bird and hope it's enough to KO the Zard, but it won't be because... Because it's a Zard! <sighs> this is bad. That did nothing. Oh no. That did absolutely nothing. Okay, blow! Yes! Okay, that's good. It's really good. And now I need him to target the Talonflame here. Just hit Talonflame. It doesn't matter why, just do it. If he hits Talonflame, we're in such a good position. Bolt Beak! <gasps> Yes! Okay, good. Get rid of my Tom Flame so I can go into my Dynamax. We got rid of their Dynamax. So now it's our time to go into Serena. We can blow everything that he has left in the game with Urshifu, Choice Band, and hopefully take it. Serena resists everything this Dracovish does. Except maybe an Aerial Ace. We should be able to take an Aerial Ace. Goes back into Festive. He's a Mungus. Um... Yeah, we just keep Wicked Blowing. We'll double into this Moon. No, no, we'll try to Wicked Blow. We'll attempt to Wicked Blow the... No, 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 we double into Amoongus, right? Then we double into Amoongus here. Because if Amoongus gets a Spore off, that could lose us the game. And he's probably gonna have a Cobra Berry here, so I think we should double into it. <clears throat> we don't actually need this plus one speed, but it is just our best option right now. And the sad thing about the 1v1 with the Drake Assault is I took out, I, I had, I ha hey, listen up, I had my Triple Axel on the Serena set, but I want to protect so much that I took out Triple Axel for bounce, because I thought also that Max Airstream did the exact same thing, except for this scenario. It doesn't, it doesn't take care of Dragon types very well. But anyway, we Wicked Blow, the Amoongus are almost able to knock it out here, but not quite. And then Max Airstream, it's really good that we doubled into this Amoongus, guys. Oh, actually, he wasn't he wasn't even Cobra Berry. Okay, well, there's no way of us knowing that. So, uh, it was our best play. Best of one problems, am I right? Because he, he was going for Spore there. That's why that was a good option. He is going to Aerial Ace on my Ouch. We do take it. We do take it. Okay, good. At least my Serena... I, I was actually hoping it would hit the Serena. Because <laughs> I have the weakness policy on the Serena. Show me Dusclops! His own Urshifu... Okay, we outspeed his. We can get the Wicked Blow off on his Drake Assault at least. And then we have to max Airstream on his Urshifu. Or we might as well max Knuckle. Is it that? It, it is a big difference in terms of damage. Let's Airstream. It's a it's our safest play, I think. Sucker Punch is not gonna work because the Queen of the Majesty. So thanks for the free turn, Tom Tom. Is this comeback time, boys? This might be comeback time. How much damage are you doing? Straight Oko Urshifu. Taking lives. Saving games. That's so good. Followed by the airstream off on his Urshifu. Gonna be pretty much able to take it out. Even without the weakness policy proc, this Serena is putting in some serious work. And this is so crazy. Like, I honestly thought the second he hit that Dracovish. And I, I didn't expect the Charizard to Oko me. Because I thought just a fire move was happening. I was I, I honestly thought this game was over. I was like, ugh, I guess we gotta I guess we gotta forfeit here, folks. <laughs> but hey, Serena Urshifu making the comeback, taking the game. That is amazing. And honestly, I think this battle just showcased Urshifu more than Serena. <laughs> Serena did a thing, right? It definitely did its thing, but the Urshifu just taking one shots after one shot was just amazing. Anyway. Next battle, boys. This is kind of a different team. You don't really see Gengar too often. You also haven't been seeing a lot of Ninetales and uh, Toxtricity much either. So this is a different team. I do feel like he does have some kind of a strategy with that Crocodile. I don't know what it is yet, but until I know what the strategy is, I'm just going to assume it's Intimidate. Mm, with that assumption, I'm going to leave with the Talonflame Serena. Just because I, I feel like I have to match his uh, Tailwind. Honestly, he could also be running a Talonflame Serena, Serena combination as well. You never really know. But yeah, I'm going to lead that. Assume that's the thing they want to do. Bring in our Luxray for Intimidates. Do Intimidates really matter? I mean, they might matter. With that uh that Crocodile. But honestly, I think Urshifu is a bigger bigger option here than, than Luxray. Maybe even Urshifu Dracovish. We go with the exact same four as last game. Honestly, we had so much offensive pressure that last game. I kind of want to em emulate that. 
and see what that takes us to. Going against Trier. But if he loses his, 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 uh, his Crooked Island Intimidate, this could be a pretty hard matchup. Townflame Ninetales. Okay, so he doesn't leave with that at all. So what do we do in a scenario like this? Do we target down this Ninetales? Who's going to have Focus Sash, right? They're definitely going to have Focus Sash. I think we max knuckle the Ninetales. This could be a double into Serena too. Here's what I think we could do. Let's Dynamax protect Max Guard. This might sound weird, but I think it's our best option. Dynamax Max Guard Tailwind. If we set up Tailwind, then we can at least guarantee a speed tie next turn. And if they don't go for Tailwind, they double into that Serena spot, we are still safe. First turn Max Guard is always an iffy, an iffy option, but I do think that their option here is to target down to this Serena as much as possible. So let's at least get ourselves behind a Tailwind. There's the Max Guard. We go for the Tailwind. It is possible they didn't go for Tailwind this turn, which is nice because they lose the priority next turn after the Hail damage. No, they do go for a Tailwind. Okay, so that, that, that kind of makes this first turn a little bit pointless. But hey. It was worth a shot. That is going to hurt a lot. But now we can at least Flare Blitz on Ninetales. Hope it's not Sashed. If it is Sashed, it will cause us issues. Um, and then we can go for the Airstream onto their Town Flame. Actually, no. Let's double in this Ninetales here. Airstream, Ninetales. I'm not pecking myself here because he has two things super effective to me. He will probably proc my weakness policy for me, if not KO me. So, <laughs> um, there's no point in giving ourselves more damage when the eminent... Well, like, when it's going to happen anyway, right? Like, it's just an eminent attack. We know it's going to happen. So, there's no point in uh, hurting ourselves. We are outspeeding twice on a speed tie, so that honestly might mean... Oh, he's not... Oh, that's big. Not being Sash there. Yes, please. We're going to almost destroy our lives. He goes for Heat Wave on top of it all? Dude, free weakness policy. That is the freest weakness policy ever, I've ever seen. Okay, Serena's now at plus three speed with plus two attack, plus two special attack. Oh, that is so free. Special Talent Flame. Who would have thunk? That just helped us so much. And no Sash. In Where is your Sash? The Gengar, probably. That is true. He has so many glass cannons on his team. He asked us to get Sash on three Pokemon, but he can't. <laughs> oh, that's really great. Okay, we're sitting in a great position here. Let's just go into Dragovish and, like, uh, just terrify them. If you guys are wondering my Dragovish set and why it has Bite over Crunch, it's because flinches. And uh, why it has Earthquake at all is because if I see a Colossal, I can Dynamax Max Quake the Colossal. And Colossal can't do much to me in return. Very intricate strategies we have there, but that's just a just-in-case kind of thing. Anyway, the Crooked Isle is on the field, followed by his Serena as well. I think what we do here is simple. We max Airstream his Serena, and we go for the Ficious Rand on his Crooked Isle. One of them is the Dynamax option. I don't quite know which one, but something that's very important to note is that his Crooked Isle does not have Intimidate. It was Moxie. So, that is probably his Dynamax option, since he wants to set up a whole bunch of Moxie boosts. And sweep with it, probably. Take it all back. Anyway, I feel really happy that I decided to go for my plus two attack into the Serena instead. They're probably going to go for a max overgrowth onto my Dracovish. Crocodile is going to protect. Nope. That's a dead Crocodile. That's a dead Crocodile. <laughs> max Airstream followed off on the Dynamax Serena. Gonna be doing so much damage. Not quite enough because it's not stab. But that is a disgusting amount of damage. And also Serena is a very tanky Pokemon in general, so. That makes a lot of sense. Max Flutterby. Okay, so that just tells me this is an assault vested Serena with U-turn. So that is good information to have, but I don't I don't think it's gonna matter too much since our whole team is physical. <laughs> Except for this Duraladon that we don't really use too much, but the rest of the team is physical. Honestly, had that been an Intimidate Crocodile, would he have survived the Fish's Run? Probably not, still. 
That, that's still way too much damage. Our Dynamax is gonna end, but our dreams, they live on. Let's go for a high jump kick. And a fish strength. That should close out the game here. Battle is canceled. Taking home three victories with this team. Alex on Patreon. Alex got sauce everywhere else. Thank you so much for helping me build this team. I hope you are having as much success with it as I am because I love this thing so much. Anyway, if you guys are excited to try this thing out, here's the rental code. Make sure to check it out while the rental code is still up. Remember, we have a video with a different rental code pretty much every single day on this channel. So we cycle through a lot of rental codes. The best way not to miss any rental codes is by going ahead and clicking that notification bell. Anyway, I'm Kevin. This is Pokesports. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you already hit the like button and subscribed. And I hope you have a great night. Peace out, guys.